Hi everyone, my name is Loic, and in this video I'm going to try to show you, from our experience, the best way to fit solid tyres on an electric scooter, as well as everything you need to know so that you can do it in your own home. So, we know that changing an electric scooter tyre can be complicated, especially if you don't have the right technique, or the right tools. And it's not an easy task, it requires a bit of strength and a good method. But our aim is to show you that it's doable and within everyone's reach. In this video, we're going to show you the method that we use at Move Move. Of course, it's not the only technique out there, but it's the one that we find most practical, easy, and efficient. So we hope that it will help you. The first thing you'll need to do is take off the old tyre and your punctured inner tube. If you don't know how to do it, take a look at our videos, where you'll likely find a specific tutorial for your model of scooter. You'll find all the useful links in this video's description. When that's done, the second step, which might be the most important one in successfully installing a solid tyre, is to heat your tyre. By heating it, it becomes more flexible and malleable, and therefore much easier to install. There are two methods to do that. The first, which works but isn't as efficient, is to run your tyre under water, then put it in the microwave for a few minutes. The second, and the one that we recommend you use because it works a lot better, is to boil some water and submerge your tyre in the hot water for 10 to 15 minutes. The idea, of course, isn't to cook your tyre, but to take it out when it's warm. Next, we can move on to mounting the solid tyre. For that we really recommend sitting on a chair so that you're stable and comfortable and don't hurt your back. You could also get ready beside you some liquid soap, Hercules tyre irons, paper towels, and your wheels. In this first sequence, we're going to install a solid tyre on the back wheel of a Xiaomi. Step 1. Put a few drops of soap on the wheel rim. On the flat edges of the tyre irons, and in the inside of the tyre. This will ensure it doesn't catch and will glide much more easily inside the rim. Step 2. Check the direction of the rotation of the tyre before mounting it. The lines of the tyre must point towards the front of the scooter. This is important because the ridges of the tyre serve to get rid of water correctly when you ride on wet ground. So if you mount them the opposite way, you will lose grip and increase your chances of skidding. Step 3. Place the tyre on the ground and the wheel rim above the tyre. Step 4. Put the first part of the wheel rim on the inside of the tyre. Then put two feet on the wheel rim so that it doesn't move. Step 5. Slide the tyre irons between the wheel rim and the tyre. Then use them to lever the tyre whilst putting both feet on it. With this technique, the solid tyre will slide up and go inside the wheel rim. Doing that alone isn't always easy, so you might want to ask someone for help to lever the third tyre iron. Here we see that the tyre has been installed perfectly on the rim, but if that's not the case for you, like in this example, you just have to finish mounting it by putting an allen key or a screwdriver in the holes and positioning the tyre in the centre. The most practical way is to insert a tyre iron between the rim and the tyre to lever it, and you'll see that it will fall into place. In the second sequence, we will show you how to mount a solid tyre on the front wheel of a Xiaomi, where the motor of the scooter can't be detached. First, place the scooter on the floor, with the front wheel in the middle and the motor cable upwards, so that it doesn't get damaged during the installation. Next, put a few drops of liquid soap around the solid tyre. 
and always check the direction of the rotation, ensuring that the direction of the tyre lines point towards the front of the scooter. Then put the tyre on the floor and the motor on top of the tyre. Put some liquid soap on the flat edges of the tyre irons. Place the first part of the front wheel inside the solid tyre and hold it down with both feet on the motor. Then slide the tyre irons between the rim and the tyre and lever them whilst pushing both feet on the wheel. And if the tyre isn't perfectly centred on the wheel, slide a tyre iron between the rim and the tyre to lever it and you'll see that it will fall into place. A little tip, so that the tyre irons slide easily under the wheel, you just need to push parallel to the rim. If you try to insert them vertically, they will get jammed against the edge of the solid tyre. In this third sequence, we will show you how to mount two solid tyres on the wheels of a scooter that isn't a Xiaomi. In the first part, on the motor wheel, I was lucky that the tyre fit into place perfectly on my first attempt. But on the other wheel, I had a few problems, and we found that it's useful and interesting to show you that it's a job that requires a bit of strength and your first attempt might not be successful. To begin, take the first solid tyre out of the hot water. Then remove the excess water. Then the same thing again, put a few drops of soap on the inside surface of the tyre. On the edges of the rim. and on the flat edges of the tyre irons. I dry my hands well so that they don't slip. Then I check the direction of the rotation of the tyre. Next, I place the solid tyre on the floor and the motor above the tyre with the cable upwards. I put the first part of the wheel inside the solid tyre and place both feet on the motor so that it doesn't move. Then I slide the tyre irons between the rim and the tyre. I then lever them whilst pushing my feet down on the wheel. For a slightly less slick installation on the other solid tyre, I'll leave you to watch the video. If you found this video useful and well made, feel free to leave us a like, it's always appreciated.
A little note about tools. At Move Move, we use Hercules tyre irons. From our experience, we can quite clearly say that these are our preferred tyre irons, and they really make a difference. They really are our best allies to successfully change and install tyres on an electric scooter without getting frustrated. But if you have a limited budget that you don't want to invest in good tools, you could always use long flat screwdrivers. We've already tried them and know they work, but not as easily. We recommend you use end-of-life screwdrivers because there's a risk they might break or bend, so you won't mind having to buy new ones. That's all there is to it. We hope that this video will keep you right and we've put all the useful links in the description. We hope you have a great day. Here's a little bonus for those who want to know how to remove a solid tyre. It's very easy. Put a few drops of soap around the wheel rim and the solid tyre, and some on the flat sides of the tyre irons. Hold the wheel down with both feet. Insert two or three tyre irons between the rim and the solid tyre. Then you just have to hold down the wheel which will act as a lever against the two tyre irons. And that's all there is to it.